Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix. Black Myth Wukong is having an issue with the controller or the gamepad. Gamepad is not working or not detecting and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to enable or disable the Steam input. So this worked for many users in my knowledge. For many users, enabling the Steam input worked. It. So I found this uh, particular from the Reddit as well as in the community forum, Steam community forum. So to do this, just go over here to the game, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, go to the controller. Over here, as you can see, there is an option called disable the Steam input. So we have three options, disable the Steam input, use a default setting, enable the Steam input. So we have to go for enable the Steam input and we have to try launch the game. So if that is not working, after trying this, most probably enabling the Steam input and launch the game will be working. In some cases, it won't work. If that is the case, we have to disable the Steam input once again and try launching the game. So let me check with enabling the Steam input and I'll be uh, launching the game. And right now, as you can see, it will be successfully launching without an issue. So most users find this very helpful. When they uh, launch the game, it worked for them. So you can try this out. So that is how it works in most cases. So that is the most important step. And also we can move to the next step. So uh, let me do one thing. So the game will be launched right now. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go over here. Let me go for the end the task, okay? So or else the game will be launched in between. So what I need to do is, once we move to the next step, next step is we have to launch the game in the big picture mode. So instead of launching the game, we need to launch in the big picture mode. So just go over here at the top, click on this one. So that will take you to this particular page. So let me close this, okay. So I have some few messages that left to read. So I'll do all these things, okay. This will not be the same case in your case, okay. So what you need to do is after launching the game in the big picture mode, this is how it looks like. Now we just need to launch the Black Myth from here. We have to launch the game. Most probably that is going to help you guys in most probably. You can try this out. And also uh, it even worked for many users. So you can try this out. So if we wanted to exit the game, just from, I mean, the big picture mode, just go over here. Just go back to the Steam. Okay, just let me go over here and go to the home. So this is how it looks like. So once launch the game from here, most probably working. So if you wanted to exit from the big picture mode, just press over here the escape button. Now from here, go to the menu and go to the power. And there is an option called exit big picture mode. Tap on this one. So that will exit the big picture mode and you're fine with it to the Steam and you can try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to make few changes in the Steam controller setting. So this is, this is applicable for the users who are trying to play the game with the PS5 and the PlayStation controller and even for the Xbox controller as, as well. So just go over here, navigate to the game and we have to right click over here and go to the properties and we have to navigate to the controller. So uh, not this one, sorry, just go over here at the top, click on Steam, go to the settings. Now from here, go to the uh, controller. Right now, as you can see, if you are on the Steam with the Xbox controller, you can turn this on. The users who are on the Xbox controller, you can turn this on. If it is already turned on, then I suggest you, you can turn this off. If you're on the trying to play with the PlayStation control support, you can first, you can keep this to enabled and you can try launching the game. If that is not the case, you can try this to enabled in the game wireless support, you can try this and also, uh, you can also make sure you can enable the Steam input for generic controller and also you can uh, make sure a uh, few things over here you can enable the, not this one you can set this up but also very important step before doing all these changes make sure that you have disabled the Steam input so just go to the properties first go over here in the controller make sure the disabled Steam input is done first and once you set this to disable Steam input you can go back to the settings navigate to the controller and you can uh, turn if it is turn it on, you have to turn this off or you can turn on if you are on the Xbox controller or else turn this off. If you are on the PlayStation controller, try with enabled then move to the enabled in game wireless support that is also working and also try to make sure enabled Steam input for generic controllers is turn it on. So you can close everything and you can try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about we have to move to the next one that is we have to make sure that you have you know uh, disconnect all the external devices for example right now here I have already connected with the joystick so I have to unplug everything so once everything is unplugged you have to try launch the game once the game is successfully launched you can try connect it back 
Next one is all about always try using the wired controller, not the wireless. So this even worked in many cases, so you can try this out. And these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.